starting point for Mindtree was uh, driven by two broad trends that we saw in uh, the late 90s. Uh, firstly, we recognized that the world will move to a software dominated world uh, and therefore uh, technology will play a big part in shaping industries, um, shaping the way consumers interact with businesses uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, secondly, it was also born out of a realization that many of the technology providers that existed in the uh, in the world in that time frame either operated at the very high end like a consulting kind of a company or were at the bottom end which we call the talent donators uh, clients did not have anybody who can handhold them between both those uh, uh, ends of those spectrum our culture always ensures that we put the interests of our clients first many examples where we did things that are better for the client even at the cost of revenues for Mindtree. Many times we have done things that are for the good of our people even if it is not necessarily good uh, for the leaders or you know for other stakeholders etc. So the fact that we put our customers and our people ahead of all other interests at Mindtree is one of the outcomes of the culture that we have. Lastly, we also run at much lower attrition compared to the rest of our industry. The culture at Mindtree also leads to very tangible, specific values. Uh, we uh, define our values as a collaborative spirit, unrelenting dedication and expert thinking. Um, so the culture at Mindtree also gets distilled and displayed on a day-to-day -day basis through our values. I think it's our culture definitely. Many times clients tell us to choose us because of our culture. They stay with us because of our capabilities, but our culture is one of our differentiators. Our talent is a second differentiator at Mindtree. Third is our expertise led positioning. Uh, we pick very few things. For example, we operate only in four verticals. We say no to a lot of services that we are not good at. Uh, because we want to be expertise led in what we do. Um, so our expertise based positioning and our expertise in the chosen verticals that we have. For example, within the overall BFSI segment, property and casualty insurance, for example, is a very strong focus area for us. Similarly, for example, within the travel domain, airlines is a very strong focus area for us. We were very fortunate that we closed our second round of funding in August 2001 because September 2001, 9-11 happened, subsequently the internet bust happened, etc. If our funding got a little bit delayed, uh, then life would have been very different for us uh, today. The fact that you know our investors in the second round were convinced and gave us the money just before the uh, events uh, that, that unfolded in the world towards the end of 2001 uh, was definitely a turning point in the history of Mindtree. Mindtree was still extremely small. We were able to garner the trust of very large enterprise clients like a Unilever or Volvo and that for example was also a very big turning point for Mindtree because we competed against some of the largest and best known companies in our industry and still were able to convince the sophisticated buyers to work with us. So client selections like that, client successes like that uh, played a big part uh, in, or a big milestone in the journey of Mindtree. Our uh, um, win of the Aadhaar project when that project was launched by the government of India, at that time it was probably one of the most complex software projects ever to be executed on the planet uh, at that point of time. The fact that we were chosen for it and the fact that we delivered it successfully for the client, which in this case happened to be the government of India, I think was a big milestone because it taught us a lot. It's a very um, important sort of achievement um, in the sort of the history of Mindtree there. Um, two most recently, um, some of the largest wins that we have had, uh, one of our customers which is an uh, airline in the US gave us the largest deal in the history of Mindtree where they have entrusted us with the entire QA function for the organization. Um, so that uh, plus many many other client related milestones uh, are also very important to mention in the history of Mindtree. sort of have a classical way of 
portraying that as some things that are going to make an impact in the short to medium term, uh, something that is going to make an impact in the medium term and something is going to make an impact in the long term. So like a horizon one, horizon two, horizon three kind of an approach there. Some technologies have already become here and now. Um, things like IoT, for example, have already begun uh, to get implemented in very large scale uh, and to solve some tangible business problems for a client. Um, so that would be a range of technologies that we invest in uh, um, from a near term horizon perspective. Things like blockchain and artificial intelligence we believe will somewhere be in the medium to long term because those technologies are hugely promising no doubt but adaptation of those technologies into solutions that solve problems for clients both at speed and scale is a few years away. Um, so definitely many clients are making um, small experiments in technologies like blockchain etc. So we are partnering with their clients for that. But some of those are where we see longer term sort of opportunities for us. All the technologies associated with artificial intelligence like deep learning, neural networks, machine learning, uh, reinforcement learning uh, and all of those kind of associated uh, uh, parts uh, we think will fundamentally disrupt our industry uh, and therefore we uh, are preparing for a future that is discontinuous from our present uh, which is go that discontinuous change is being brought in by technology. Uh, we broadly break them up into three, comp three components. The first is interactive, which is to help an enterprise interact with its customers um, through web or mobile or you know social media or those kind of um, approaches uh, there. Analytics, which is spun off a little bit out of the interactive because more of us leave more digital footprint, more of that footprint is being used by enterprises to understand and segment their clients and personalize their offerings, etc. But we believe that has a much more longer term enduring business value. Um, so we think uh, the investments that clients would make in their analytics journey, the digital uh, transformation will be driven out of the data that they have and the insights that they can get from the data, the business decisions they can drive out of the data. So that we think probably has like a decade or more worth of uh, uh, opportunity left to us there. Our belief is that uh, at any point in time, while we are delivering the present, we also need to think about something that is beyond uh, and that is our new group that we have created called the Enterprise Reimagination Business, which in some senses is what we call as the beyond digital business. While all these things are already being um, done by our clients, digitizing the core, uh, running analytics, you know, the, the interactive uh, interactions with their... Continuing the high growth trajectory for Mindtree, if you look at the last five years, our CAGR has been close to 20% in an era where the industry as a whole grew approximately 10%. So we are growing faster than the industry. Um, so continuing that high growth trajectory is definitely a very important uh, priority for me. The second important agenda for me is to help improve our margins. Our margins are below our own thresholds or our own comfort levels right now. So we have committed to increasing margins by about 100 to 120 basis points this year. So that's a second important agenda for me. The third important agenda is this whole talent and skills uh, of our people. Um, how do we continue to attract world class talent? How do we continue to make sure that our workforce has all the skills to be relevant for the future? Um, so that's the third agenda that I'm carrying for this year. world is such a complex place today so there are numerous challenges that we are dealing with as well um, for example the kind of um, skills shortage uh, fueled by immigration kind of issues that the world is facing across many of the advanced economies is a challenge that uh, we are we are dealing with uh, the rapidly uh, increasing sophistication amongst our clients the rapidly increasing involvement of business users in technology decisions etc pose a big challenge from a sales perspective, from a go-to-market perspective because you now have to sell differently compared to the past. Um, so that's a challenge that um that we are dealing with. Finally, some very important uh, technology related threats, for example, cybersecurity, uh, are also things that we are dealing with um, at the moment. 